Not every website out there has a native application available in the Google Play Store. It costs money to build those apps, and it takes time to not only create it, but to also maintain it. This is why some websites, including the two that I currently own, have yet to introduce a native application for the community. Thankfully though, there are some ways that you can take a website and have your smartphone or tablet act as if it is an actual application that you have installed on your device. One way we can do this is with Chrome. You just need to open up the website in Chrome, tap the three dot menu right there, and then select the add to home screen option. This will allow you to customize the name that's going to be used for the application icon, and it will put it directly on your home screen. Another way we can do this is to use an application like Native Alpha. This application will essentially do the same thing while also offering you some customizable features alongside of it. Native Alpha is a free Android application available in the Google Play Store that allows you to create an application icon on your home screen for any website. The advantage of using Native Alpha over the Chrome feature that I just showed you is that you are given some unique options as to how those websites are rendered. Features like th blocking third-party requests, preventing images from being loaded, automatically blocking cookies, and refusing all third-party cookies as well. The application works by first tapping on the red floating action button that you see down here in the corner, and then typing in the URL of the website that you want to add. Play Store Sales is a website that I created back in 2015 and I have been working on it almost every day for the last eight years. Once the website has been typed in, you can let it choose the application icon for you, which is pulled from the favicon of the website itself, or you can set a custom icon of your choice. You're also allowed to edit the act application name, which is going to be displayed underneath the app icon itself. After the website has been added to the native alpha app, you should see it here in the list but you should also be able to see it directly on your home screen as well. We can then tap that application icon to load the website just like you would any other native Android application. It will not display the address bar like you would normally see when viewing websites in a web browser. So it functions almost identically to a native application that you have installed on your Android smartphone or tablet. If the website is designed well, it will even look like it was always made for a smartphone or a tablet. It doesn't store any of the website on your device, so it won't be able to display anything when you're offline but maybe the developer will be able to add this feature in a future update. 
Native Alpha also comes with some customization options that you can change for individual websites that you add to it, or they can be configured globally across all of the websites that you use with this application. For example, we can choose to block all JavaScript from being loaded whenever we visit a website using the native alpha home screen shortcut, or we can tell it to block all third party requests. Most permissions are blocked by default, such as access to your location, the camera, or the microphone, but those can be configured here in the settings as well. There is a way to enable ad block, a toggle that will prevent all images from being loaded, and an auto load toggle that we can use to automatically refresh the website every X number of seconds. We even have options that will allow us to pinch and zoom, to always open up the website in desktop mode, and an expert settings toggle that gives us the option to set a custom user agent when loading up that website. All of these options can be configured globally for every website that we add to the application. But we can also go in and customize individual websites that we add by tapping on the gear icon and overriding the global settings from here. This makes it a great way to control how certain websites are loaded on your Android smartphone or tablet. So you can see the advantages of using an application like Native Alpha rather than using the Add to Home Screen feature that is built in directly to web browsers like Chrome. The application is available for free in the Google Play Store, and I'll even include a direct link to it down in the video description below. There is a paid version available right now that can be purchased for $3.50. It comes with all of the features that you saw here, as well as a way to load these websites in a sandbox, an optional immersive mode feature, and an experimental dark mode option that can be configured to automatically change depending on the time of day. Native Alpha is a great solution for websites that do not have a presence in the Google Play Store, but it can also be used to avoid invasive permissions that we see so often in native Android applications. I see this application recommended quite often for people who use social media apps like Facebook and Twitter when they don't want to deal with the hassle and restrictions that those apps have chosen to implement.